Hello everybody, this is Gregory with How I Lost Over 100 Pounds and I've kept it off for 30 plus years, where there should be no hesitance in your weight loss and maintenance. Today is the inaugural episode of Reflections of a Weight Loss Warrior, where I'm going to talk about my experiences post-weight loss. Now, before we begin, if you need help with weight loss, contact me through the Clarity link found here in the episode notes. Also in the episode notes, you'll see links to my website, my podcast, my books, and if you appreciate my content, please hit the like button, the notification button right now. And also, if you really appreciate my content, there is a link for PayPal. So this is the beginning of the new kind of personal reflection series. The original one was Confessions of an Obese Child. There are 20 episodes there. I recommend you check out that playlist. And that discussed my experiences uh, through childhood of being an over, overweight uh, child and adolescent. And it ended with me losing my weight in uh, the winter spring of 1991 that's how old i am so the whole point of reflections of a weight loss warrior is is essentially goes down to this central thesis i lost my weight but everything that made me turn to food and binge eat was still there so you could see it as the crash diet that I did. Now, if you go to episode 20 of Confessions, I admit that I really don't remember how I lost the weight. All I really remember is that I probably wasn't binge eating as much, and then uh, I started going to the gym to do the Stairmaster. And that's pretty much it. So like a lot of people who yo-yo diet, I was able for uh, six months or so to, to use the momentum of losing a little weight at the beginning to lose a lot of weight because I didn't want to gain it back. And then I blinked at my milestone, which was the Junior Cross and Ring Ceremony, and I had lost, I think at, at that point, uh, maybe 80 pounds. And I was like, okay, well now I'm regular weighted. And at that point, in retrospect, but even at that point, I was petrified. Because now it's like flowers for Algernon. I've mentioned that novel before of, of the person who is kind of, like, I guess you would say, a special ed, and then he takes a experimental drug, and then he becomes brilliant, and he gets to experience the whole world, women and all these things, but then the drug stops working, and he goes back to the way he was before. So I had this petrifying fear for the next at least 15 years of gaining the weight back. So it's like, give it, I was given this new opportunity. Don't lose it. Don't screw this up. Because now you can actually be with girls and not be laughed at and snickered at as I, as I was venturing off to my senior year in high school and then college. And so that's one fear thing. The other one was I still had disordered eating. I was just able to control the disordered eating for six months. I still had disordered eating. And the point of reflections of a weight loss warrior is, especially the first five, seven episodes, is going to be talking about my post-weight loss binge eating. That didn't stop. If anything, it got almost worse. But since I lost the weight, I was able to exercise more efficiently. So it was certainly, like I talked about in that episode, calorie in, calorie out. It was calorie in, calorie out for a good 15 years. So it wasn't like, oh, the sun came up, normal relationship with food. I only eat till I'm no longer hungry. Yay. No, it was a lot of disordered eating. So... In reflections, I'm going to talk about that. I'm going to talk about the beginning, some of my experiences post weight loss with women and with my friends. And I'm going to talk about later about survivor's guilt, imposter syndrome. I'm going to talk about some of my horrible binge eating uh, strategies that I came up with and so forth. And the reason I do confessions and reflections is because I understand some of you who are overweight or watching this. We're not overweight as a child. Some of you were. And so some of you just to kind of give you a glimpse of what I was going through, because maybe some of you can relate. Maybe some of you were bingers in, in, in your youth or you're bingers now. But that's the inaugural episode here. So we'll come up with future episodes to talk about uh, my post-weight loss uh, dysfunction. 
Guys, post in the comments. Let me know if you can relate. Hit the notification, subscribe, and share button. Until next time, take care. God bless and pray.